Hey mates, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we are gonna see what's account abstraction, why in my opinion is needed for mass adoption, and we are gonna see an example of a smart wallet, Avocado. Let's get started. In short, account abstraction aims to make blockchain technology as easy to use as your fintech apps. This is thanks to the introduction of the RC4337 Ethereum standard, which allows for creating smart wallet contracts. These kind of contracts enable social recovery, gas abstraction, transaction batching, and much more. Why do we need abstraction in general? The biggest problem in DeFi right now are fees, chain-restricted transactions, and liquidity fragmentation. All these problems exist because chains are not connected and interoperable, meaning that mass adoption is impossible under these conditions. Imagine that you need to buy a gym membership, then you need to go to a supermarket, and then you need to go on a restaurant. And for each one, you need to pay with a different currency. That's the same experience we face in DeFi. Let's say, for example, I want to use GMX, Velodrome, and MakerDAO. To use each DAP, I need different tokens for fee, and I need liquidity on each chain. That's why abstraction is needed. By abstraction, I mean a wonderful DeFi world where it doesn't matter where I am or what chain I am, I can swap anywhere, deposit anywhere, and do lending, borrowing, anywhere without chain restriction, geolocal restriction, etc. This is, for example, what Cosmos is trying to achieve, or for example, Polygon with its aggregation layer, and Chainlink with its CCIP. Every project is trying to make user experience as easy as possible. So no matter where you have your funds, you'll be able to use whatever DAP you want. But now let's explore all the benefits you'll have with a smart wallet. And for you that may don't know, a smart wallet is that kind of wallet created with the RC4337 standard. Some of the benefits are multi-signature transactions, where transactions require multiple people to sign off before execution. This, of course, enhances security and it gives the opportunity to work, for example, for an institution. Another thing is social recovery that enables users to recover their wallet using, for example, pass keys or social accounts and eliminating the fear of losing private keys, providing a user-friendly recovery option. Something that's like uh, you lost your banking account, for example, or you need to switch phones. If you lose your private keys, your wallet cannot be recovered in any case. But if you use other kind of wallets like Zango, for example, that I made a review here, you can recover your account even if you don't have your private keys. In the Zango case, it doesn't use private keys at all. Another thing is contract and account whitelisting that ensures safer transaction by allowing interaction only with trusted dApps or contracts, reducing the risk of falling victim to scam or, for example, reducing the chance of sending money to the wrong address. We had some cases or pretty important fund lost because they sent money to the wrong address. We can remove this problem with account whitelisting. Other things, I'll go faster, is transaction batching. So you can do multiple transactions at once. This is useful for automation, for example, or if you need to pay your colleagues, your workmates, etc. It's easier to do. Other things are spending limits. This is useful for, for budgeting or better, it's useful as a security measure. So if some contracts get hacked and drained, you can say that when you do a transaction, you spend the limit is like 50 USDC. And if uh, the contract gets hacked, you only lose this 50 USDC and not your entire USDC balance. Last thing I wanna cover is chance to have a custom gas tokens that give users the flexibility to choose what to use as a gas token, freeing them from the restriction of a specific native token. For example, if you are on Ethereum, you need to use it. If you are on the POS chain of Polygon, you need to use Matic. Avalanche, you need to use Avax, Phantom, FTM, etc. That's not needed for a smart account. Now that you understood what account abstraction and why it's needed, Let's see an example of account abstraction, Avocado Wallet from Instadap. First of all, go to avocado.instadap.io. I leave you the link down in the description. Then you need to connect a wallet. Remember, 
a smart wallet or a smart account is not a wallet by itself. It needs another wallet to connect to. So first of all, you need to create, for example, a MetaMask account, a Rabbi account, etc. After you do this, you can go to the Avocado website, connect your wallet, and you get this interface. First of all, those are the chains that are supported by Avocado. There are a lot and they are constantly growing and you have this address. As I said before, this is not your MetaMask address. This is the Avo address and it's different for your MetaMask one. You can send funds to every supported chain directly from this address. And it doesn't matter if the wallet is already deployed or not. We are gonna explain this soon, but in general, you can send directly funds even if your account is not deployed yet. We have our wallet, we have personal one and multi-sig one. Multi-signature, it's another topic and more for people that have a bit more money, maybe like after two, three, five K, it's useful to have a multi-sig before it's a bit much in my opinion, but I'll make a video only focused on multi-signature accounts. And if you want it fast, just DM me on Twitter, comment down there, I want a multi-signature video, something like that. Then here we have one of the biggest feature of this wallet. This is the gas reserve. This is what is used to pay gas on every supported chain. You don't need Phantom for Phantom, you don't need Matic for Polygon. You just need to fill your gas reserve here. For example, if you have USDC on Arbitrum and you can deposit whichever amount you want, like 20 bucks or something like that, and you'll have uh, your reserve right there. This is gonna be used to pay transaction. The transaction executed through Avocado is subject to a small upcharge. The default premium is like 20% of gas fees. It's a pretty useful thing to have gas abstraction, but remember that you're gonna pay a bit more on the gas side. Also, how do you have one account for all of these chains? In general, if you have a MetaMask account, for example, as those are all AVM, you'll have one address for each one but it's not the same for smart accounts. Every smart account needs to be deployed first. You can see it like there. In theory, you should first deploy your account and then send funds. That's not the case for Avocado. The account will be automatically deployed after you do your first transaction. Sort of like chain abstraction. The Avocado network, it's not a chain by itself. It's a custom RPC. The native token USDC is the thing that you use to do transaction. And the custom RPC is the thing that permits you to use cross-chain interactions. So if you want, for example, to make an Arbitrum transaction and you want to swap, the app is gonna use the custom RPC and you are gonna pay USDC. But the transaction is not gonna be on the Avocado chain because there is no Avocado chain, but the transaction is gonna be on Ethereum. Also, on the supported chain, remember mates, don't send funds to chains that are not supported. Because if you send funds there, there is like an 80% chance that your funds are lost forever. It's the same as sending funds, for example, on Binance or an unsupported network. If they don't support it, they will not recover your funds. That's the same for Avocado. To connect a DAP, it's really easy. Just go to connect DAP, wallet connect, and you'll see this. Go to open, copy link, go to your avocado, and you can copy your link there. Now the DAP is connected and you can do transaction with it. It's pretty easy. This is a DeFi section. Here you'll be able to see some or your DeFi position, like the lending and borrowing on Aave, for example, and other ones. NFTs, you can see your NFTs. Contact, this is really important. Here you can whitelist your contacts. So uh, if you send them money, you know that those are the real contacts and it's not a scam or you didn't put the, the wrong address. We have the history tab that goes to Avoscan. This is like an aggregator of your transaction. You can see here, fees are pretty nice, to be honest. After the Duncan upgrade went down a lot and it's a big thing. If you want a video on the Duncan upgrade, just 
leave another comment. Then we have the transaction builder. This is for more expert uh, users. Here you can create transaction, batch transaction and save them. So if, for example, if you want to land a thousand bucks every month on Aave, you don't need to go every time on Aave and make the transaction, but you can save it there. You can click a button and then make a transaction. My favorite things about Avocado is this tab. It's Avocado Protect. We made an entire AMA about uh, Avocado, uh, its protect features and Web3 antivirus and its protect feature. You can see it maybe on my channel, but for sure on the direct finance Twitter. And you can have a listen if you are interested in general DeFi security and Avocado or Web3 antivirus. Here we can set up our authenticator. I use Auti. If you want to stay safe in DeFi, watch this video that I make. In that video, I talked about authenticators are the most important tool that you need to use in general, not just in DeFi, in general security. Here, you can connect your authenticator as Auti, for example, Google Authenticator, Microsoft Authenticator, etc. And listen, you, you see th those two tabs, message OTP and email OTP, never, never use those. It's really risky. For message OTP, uh, you can be victim of SIM swapping, for example. For the email OTP, a scammer, it's easier to get into your Google account than your authenticators. So never, never use message OTP or email OTP like everywhere on your socials, on your bank accounts. Never use those kind of things. Here, you can choose what network you want your authenticator to be on. I chose, for example, Polygon, Arbitrum, and Optimism now. So every time I do a transaction on Polygon, he's gonna ask me for authenticator. If I'm gonna do this on Arbitrum too, if I'm gonna do a transaction on Base, Avocado will not require an authenticator. And then one other thing that I love is the backup address added. Here, you can use a secondary address to confirm your identity. This ensure you are never locked out of your Avocado wallet. So if you lose your first account, the one that you use to sign in in Avocado, like your MetaMask account, you can add a backup address here. Other things, the app has uh, an aggregator for transaction, even multi-chain. So you can use normal swap or bridging. You can bridge directly from there. You can add custom tokens as usual. Transaction shortcuts, those are the one that it will appear if you save, for example, a batch transaction or a normal transaction. Deploy or upgrade. This is going to be the tab where you're going to deploy or upgrade each contract that you have. For example, I never did a transaction on the Binance chain and here I need to deploy the, the smart contract for the Binance smart chain. But if I do a transaction there, it will be automatically deployed. So you don't need to deploy each one. The other thing is the onboard feature. You can connect your wallet here and if you can see all the tokens you have on your Coinbase account in this case, but on your MetaMask account, and you can import your token directly from here. It's the easiest way to import your tokens and also to import your USDC. So if you have USDC on one of these chains, you can directly top up your gas. Also remember, top up gas will remain there. There is no way to withdraw gas money. For now so remember that if you deposit those like 50 bucks you need to use them all you can withdraw them another thing you can do is uh, you can import your positions on, on some dApps like Aave for example you can approve and migrate your deposit and the last thing it's Avo migration you can change from a wallet to another in like if you need to send funds for example on a multi-sig you can do it easily right here if you need more information about avocado you can listen to our AMA. You should follow them on Twitter. You should follow also me on Twitter. And if you like videos like this, remember to subscribe, leave me a like, and most importantly, the next tool you want me to make research on. That's all for today. Stay happy and wealthy.